Good morning, everybody. This probably looks kind of odd being how this is the ninth day of January here in Middle Tennessee. It's almost 70 degrees. Supposed to get down to, eh, one says 43, one says 37. So I'm not sure how cool it's going to get tonight. But the winter weather is on the way behind this warm front that we're having now from the little rain fit that we had. We needed the rain. Everything's good. You guys saw the other day down here in the bottom. Today there is very little water down there at the far end. Most of it's gone. Like it normally does. Beautiful day. I mean, you just, just can't beat the day. The wind is primarily out of the west right now. It's supposed to be north, northwest tonight, bringing in the cool. I came over for a couple of different reasons. A new piece of gear. I think you guys will like it. I hope I'm going to be able to enjoy it this year. And also, I want to thank everybody out there for joining me on this one. Especially, this is my 100th video. My first video that I released, my intro video, which uh, I should probably redo, I guess, but I really don't want to, because it is what it is, was done right over there. Today, I'm pitched right over there. And before we go too much further into this thing, let me show you what I got. Tell me what you think. I wanted to start the new year off with a new piece of gear. You know, I started off camping on the ground and I kind of Kind of find it a little bit hard to completely get away from that. I'm hoping that this little tent here will be a good one. This is uh, River Country Products. One man. You can see it's kind of a teepee style there. 48 inch center height. It is 90 inches long. And the sleeping compartment is 38 inches wide. The vent at the top, I'll let you see that inside in a minute. I guess they uh, had some issues at some point in time. And now they have made it so the back tail zips up. You can see my ground cover there and the inner tent. It is all one piece. It stays one piece. The end ties pull the... Uh, pull those sections out pretty good there were some uh, issues I guess with that also I don't particularly find an issue with uh, that not being pulled out far enough for me to be able to get up to this end that's a little better shot of the back get a little ventilation underneath there and you can see the uh, vent here plenty of skeeter net looks pretty good it rolls back out of the way with the uh, front I think this will put me on the ground in style this year, don't you guys? I made just a little change in the pitch so you guys could get a little better idea of what it looks like on the inside. Tonight I got the overstuffed Marmont, which I'm hoping is going to hold me down in the 30s. Got the little down uh, throw. And I am, I'm not going to get up and get over there, but kind of see there at the end yeah that's the air mattress that I was on when I done my first video over here it is uh, just a $16 blow up uh, 74 inches long right at uh, 38 inches wide it's about the same size as the bathtub floor in there and it actually blows up to about six and a half inches thick if you want to do it but I have to have it a bit softer than that the ridge line's just hanging there. You can run it from a ridge line. I'm not lined up with the trees well enough right here. It would uh, pull just a wee bit sideways on it. I'm not on the most level spot, but that's okay. 
I laid down in there and didn't tend to slide. I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, you can see down there that all the water's gone. Man, has it been windy this afternoon. Probably somewhere 4, 4.30, judging by the fact that we don't have any sun here at the hideout again this evening. <laughs> I did a little bit of uh, rearranging. Uh oh, look at there. We're on a trail camera. Can't go nowhere over here without it. When I found that little tent, this is what I had in mind with a couple of tarps and a, and a piece or two of a tarp. Kind of the same effect with uh, no mosquito net, of course. I brought the stuff with me today just to uh, give it a shot, see if I'd like it or not. I don't know. Makes a big old shelter. And you got a screen house too. So you don't have to worry about the bugs. Tonight I think I'm just a little bit more concerned about the wind than I am the bugs. I got a little bit of wood cut up over here. Didn't cut up a whole lot. Not much need for it. If we're not going to be able to use it, right? <laughs> kind of seems right now like it's... Uh, Quieten down. I may try to start a little fire here in just a few minutes. Get a little warmth going for the evening. It's been kind of nice today though just to hang out in here. Got up walking around, got to chill. <laughs> this makes a nice little shelter to sit under. I'm kind of glad I brought it. Uh, it's not going to provide any warmth, but it will help keep the wind off of me if it keeps doing this all night, up and down. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's not 65 degrees anymore. It was supposed to cool off quick, and it has. Well, I had me a little munchy earlier. I'm not really that hungry. I'm going to wait a while before I eat anything. Just going to hang out. Think about all the videos I've had so far, and many more to come, I hope. And it's all because of you guys. I've mentioned it before. I would still be out here doing this. But it has brought another uh, part of my life awake. And I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying the fellowship among the YouTubers. And to be able to share being out like this with you guys. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Probably should have spent a little bit of time made a some sort of windbreak over there on around the fire instead of building this elaborate thing here. <laughs> but I believe I'll be all right. You may be able to hear the wind right now. It's just enough it's got the tops of the trees all wagging around. That's okay. I'm going to be warm tonight. I don't think there'll be an issue there at all. I decided not to have a fire out in the pit. The wind's just too up and down, and now it's probably, uh, I don't know, 7 o'clock maybe. I've just been laying around uh, watching this beautiful night unfold, folks. Starry, starry sky. I think we're on the uh, back side of a new moon, which would be a waxing, I believe, was on the back side. <sighs> yeah, check it out here. <laughs> Just a sterno fire. Actually, not a sterno fire. 
That would be brought to you by not water. They're like, I can actually feel a nice little bit of heat coming off that thing there. I'll show you my new little windscreen in the morning. Probably would be a better time to see that when I'm fixing breakfast. You know, I've laid down in here for a while, kind of closed up, and I've got no condensation as of yet. Of course, I've had the screen pretty much open the whole time. I've got one side of the front pulled down. Not that it really matters tonight with this big tarp up over the top of it. But I think I'm going to be warm enough. We'll know before too much longer, won't we? I'm going to have some noodle soup tonight for dinner. With a piece of some homemade jerky cut up in it. Thank you, Toad. Whew. Knock this chill off a little bit. Looks kind of cool, doesn't it? You guys hear them? Man, I know you hear that old motorcycle over there somewhere. Yeah, they shut up now. Coyote's starting early tonight. <laughs> It'll fix me an after-dinner pipe. I'll be right back. Yeah, their chicken noodle soup hit the spot, folks. It's pretty good stuff. Especially with no cleanup, huh? <laughs> First dinner in my new tent. So far, it seems pretty good. Kind of gave it a good look over today out in the sunshine and didn't see no bad spots. You know, I've had a couple of issues before. I'm going to go ahead and do the seam seal on this one before it ever gets a chance to set out very much. I think it would be a real good idea. Because I do not intend to use the other tarps with it all the time. There, got a bug in here. Seen two mosquitoes earlier today. Zooming around. January. And mosquitoes. This don't sound right, does it? Fellow's going to stay somewhere for several days. I believe it would probably behoove you to go ahead and pack the extra weight in. Put up the other tarps. At least the pile. You know, set that 10 by 10 across the top of this. <coughs> Excuse me. That way, if you did get any kind of monsoon rain, it would help. Or today, you know, it really helped with the wind today. I think I would have been okay anyway. Uh, I left this back piece back here half up tonight for a little ventilation. I don't intend on keeping this. I just <laughs> zipped the front down because I'd never been in here with the front zip down. It's kind of neat. It's plenty roomy, you know. I don't feel cramped at all. Uh, I've got room above my head sitting here. I can move to here before I touch and I've got all the way to the other end practically on that side. I don't need much space, you know. When I first started out, I did. Whew, man. Seems like I needed, uh, well, I needed, <laughs> I needed way more space than I actually needed, if that makes sense. Some reason or other, I just thought I had to have a lot of room inside, you know. Some point this winter, I'll have the trapper shack set up with a wood stove. Uh, this little configuration here is not too far from having a wood stove sitting right out there, I can tell you that. A couple more tarps and we'd be wrapped up, huh? You know, thinking back on a hundred videos... I haven't sat down to uh, figure out exactly how many nights I've spent out in the woods. It's 
Been several. Several two-nighters. Trip down the river was nice this year. Last year, excuse me. This year coming up, I want to do the Cumberland River. Probably six, maybe seven days. Travel just a little bit further this time. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> I checked the lake conditions last night, and uh, the water temperature, 47 degrees Fahrenheit, and I think they said they had a strong current. I believe uh, Kentucky Dam was running like 200,000 cubic feet a minute, and Barkley wasn't far behind it. So this would be a good time to make a kayak trip. You could get some mileage in every day if that's what you were looking for. But I'm not really looking for mileage per day. I think uh, I'm going to make, uh, do a little different this time. I'm going to leave out. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do about a eight mile run, maybe 10 miles in the first day. Put in a good day's paddling. And I, if I'm not mistaken, that'll get me to a spot we've been to before. You guys have seen it too, but I won't let you in on it what it is just yet. I think I'm going to spend at least two days there. Just hanging out. Should get a little more current on that side, on the eastern side. The river's not hardly as wide. Somehow or other, you just can't never, I can never spend enough time outside been a big part of my life whether I was riding a motorcycle or working most of the time I was outside well we ain't got no fire tonight but uh do got a little shot of hot water with me tried to lighten the load up a little bit I really want to say a special thanks to everybody for being patient with me and uh, hanging in there and watching my videos. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Looking forward to some more meetups. I really enjoyed that last year. Hopefully make at least a couple this year. Hope so anyway. I'm going to make some more kayak trips this year too. Some bunch of day trips. Uh, I'm going to go fishing. Uh, catching, I don't know. But fishing, yeah, we're going to go. We'll just have to see how the catching works out. Tell you, those coyotes, are, I just barely can hear them, so I doubt you can hear them at all. Uh, maybe they'll stay over there tonight and be quiet here in a couple hours. Thanks for coming along, everybody. I appreciate it. Appreciate your views, for sure. All my subscribers out there, thank you much. 100 videos down. Let's see if we can uh, get close to 200 this year. Thank you. Same vintage as last time. Yeah, buddy. Cook dinner with it and then have a snort. <laughs> not sure what temperature is right now. In the 30s. It, I mean, uh, in the 40s, not the 30s. It, it's not that cold yet. Can't hardly see it here. I got on a uh, new sleeping hat. And a new pair of sleeping gloves. I'll show you those guys in the morning. Because I just don't feel like turning on any more lights right now. It's kind of nice sitting here. Oh, if anything exciting happens tonight, I'll grab the camera. See if we can't catch it. Other than that, I'm just looking for a peaceful night's sleep.
somewhere in the 30s, before morning, I suppose. At least that's what one of them said. <sighs> Folks, I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Probably somewhere around 6, 6.30, judging by the sun. Well, whether you just heard that little breeze come through just then. <laughs> but it's been doing that all night. Pretty sure it's in the 30s this morning. And breezy. Beautiful morning, though. I have had better night's sleep. My pillow went down on me last night. I got a Hooked a hole in my pillow, I guess. Everything else done well. I need just a little more insulation on the bottom. And this air mattress is just too thick for this tent, kind of. It done well. I'll keep using it till I can get another one. I'm not going to get in any hurry this morning at all. Just enjoy a clear, cool, breezy morning. And this afternoon, it's supposed to cloud up. Now we're going to get rain for two days again. Oh well. Got to have it, right? There's that sunshine coming in this morning. Boy, it feels good. Still cool. Like my new hat? Look at that. Nice, like sheepskin on the inside. That was warm last night. Along with the uh, Polar Extreme gloves. Thanks, Robert and Jules. Very warm. Along with the wool socks, you know, I mean, I stayed good and warm last night. I didn't freeze to death. Uh, I got on my hot hips, long johns, <laughs> so that helped. Uh, I said, I don't know. It's in the 30s this morning. Now, wind's what's the killer, though. You know, the condensation here, we'll talk about that for just a, just a minute before I uh, fire up and make me up some oatmeal this morning. You know, I had one bit of condensation that was right over here where my head was. Everything else was dry this morning. Uh, like I said, I did leave the flap up in the back, and this panel here is up off the ground. Even though I did have it zipped up last night, uh, I still got ventilation in here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think uh, next time I heist this tent up, I'll probably just bring the tent. Won't bring the other tarps with me. Uh, I'm going to do a camp just in those tarps, though here before long. I think I'm going to make me a tripod for this one. J just for here. I think I like it without the stick. It didn't get in my way last night, don't get me wrong, and I haven't knocked it out yet, trying to get in and out. So that's good. Uh, I believe the tent's going to do real well. I do see the need maybe for another little vent, but uh, that'll be down the road. Right now, I'm just going to try to enjoy it. <laughs> Get some use out of it. Let me fire up my little stove here and uh, fix me up some oatmeal. It is that time. Need a fresh pipe too. Hey, I'd take advantage of the sun here for a few minutes to get out of the wind. Yeah, I broke my little scarf out. My neck was getting cold. It ain't warming up none too quick this morning. It's not just not gonna happen, probably 7:30, going on eight. I've just been messing around, got most of the stuff out of the tent. And I got the sterno stove going right here. That yeah, feels good on the hands, you know, so I got one glove on. <laughs> Oh. 
this was a good camp. I thought this would be a nice little addition to the pack. It's pretty light. It, I don't know the exact weight on it. Uh, it's 10 inches high. And it is 10 sections, I think. <laughs> the aluminum foil worked good for a pretty good while. And then I went with a uh, an oven bag there for a little bit for a windscreen. Which it also worked well too, but that aluminum foil being just a little bit thicker, it didn't take it long to get weak. And it started cracking and breaking off. $8.99, Amazon. They don't have to be nothing fancy. This is the one that's got the little peg, so you can peg the ends down, which is kind of nice. I like that. Plus, you can see this time I brought the old sterno stove with me. I was going to use it for a twig stove this time, but uh, the way things worked out, open fire just really wasn't that much of an option. It's one of those things you kind of got to, you know, pick and choose a little bit there. Do I go out there and build a nice warm fire to sit around with the wind blowing up my skirt? Or do I sit inside, wrap up in a sleeping bag, and be warm out of the wind? And last night I chose the latter. That's okay. Got a little bit of firewood over there for next time. You know, guys, I've been out here on colder mornings than this. This morning's just got a burr to it. The wind's pretty much coming out of the north. This is keeping me out of the wind right now altogether. Get this oatmeal down here and start breaking down camp. Slowly. Oh yeah. You guys hear that? <laughs> and you see the smoke blowing around in here? I'm sure you can kind of see the tarp wiggling a little too. I believe it's gotten colder. Well, at least the wind chill has dropped. The wind is picking up steady now. Not, not little breezes anymore. We got a good steady wind going. No matter what, this was a good camp. First camp, 2019. Cold camp. Good cold camp. Couldn't tell that by the way I started the video, could you? <laughs> Yesterday at this time it was almost 60 degrees. No wonder we had mosquitoes last night out here, huh? Yeah. Only two. Good way to start the year. Excellent way to start the year. Real peaceful today. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about the tent. Probably at a later date. As some of you have already noticed, I gave no specs on the tent except the size. And that's because I couldn't find any. None of the websites that carry this tent uh, have any of the material specs on it. Besides that it does have a, uh, a uh, waterproof coating on it, which it does. It's fairly heavy material. I think I read one uh, review or article that uh, said that it's probably 70 D. Well, there's only one way to really find out. I've got an email into the company, and we'll see what they say about it. They should know, right? They say they stand behind the tent 100%, so we'll see about that, too. They do call it waterproof right out of the bag. I'm not going to believe it. Call me skeptical if you want to. I've been there before, and there'll be more on that situation coming up real soon. And by the way, the Chill Gorilla tarp that I bought. That was the situation I'm referring to. It has been resolved. Those are good folks. 
Uh, I'm not going to tell you that you're going to buy a tarp from them and it's going to be waterproof out of the bag. I can't do it. But, if you notice on their tarps, they don't seam seal them from the factory. So it's kind of your option. And if I were you, it's a good option. Go ahead and put some silicone on all the seams and around all the tie out, especially the stitching in the inside. And make sure that the uh, cloth that's exposed on the outside has a decent little silicone tree on it too so that it'll shed and not wick back up inside your tarp. The tarp itself, the material, I found no problems with it whatsoever. It stretches really nice and you guys are going to see one of them here pretty soon. <coughs> uh, maybe my next camp. I'll, I'll try to remember and uh, we'll have the chill gorilla in a hammock camp. How about that? This little jewel here, I hope, stays with me for a while. Let's hope. Seems pretty sturdy. I'll have the specs for you guys on that as soon as I get them. Burr! <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Yes, I do. The North Pole, obviously. It's cold this morning. You know, guys, I think I'm just going to break this one off right here. I really don't have a whole lot to do. This tent packs up, and by the way, it stuffs in the stuff sack, and it does fit. It's a little larger than what they uh, what they advertise. They say it's eight inches round and or, or eight inches high and five inches round. Uh, it's a little bigger than that. The stuff sack is of adequate size for it and stakes and guy lines, uh, without an issue. Even stuffed, you don't have to roll the tent if you don't want to. I'm kind of a stuffer. Uh, go along with a couple of theories on that for developing particular wrinkles in the tent and causing issues with the material not being waterproof anymore. And that's the last thing I want to happen with this one. So we're going to treat this one right from the get-go. Chill again. Man. I'm going to get busy and pack everything up. Once again, guys, I really appreciate all of you out there. I do uh, my comment thing. I'm, I'm trying to get caught up on that. I don't know what the issue is, and I've talked to a couple of you guys about it. If anybody out there has uh, a reason why that uh, I can't load any more comments, it's kind of odd. Uh, first, I went through the thing with I couldn't reply to a comment. I would type in my reply, and as soon as I touched on the reply, it went away. Well, that seems to have resolved itself. And now when I get down to the end of the page answering comments and I go to load more, I can't. I just have to wait till it decides to give me 10, 15, or 2. You know, I, I don't know when that's going to happen. So I am on top of that, trying to keep caught up. Thanks. <clears throat> For my 100th video here, it's kind of a milestone, isn't it? Kind of cool. I have an anniversary for YouTube coming up in April. Three years. Hope to do some camping between then, between now and then, for sure. <laughs> Hammock and tent. Air mattress. Number one priority. You guys know where I got that from, too, don't you? Oh... And I hate to do this. I'd like to stay another night, but I just can't pull it off this week. Thank you so much for your views and your comments. Do appreciate them. Good or bad. I'm good to go either way. Well, from here at the hideout woods, guys, thanks for coming with me. Until next time. Just waiting for the next big adventure.